hey guys welcome back to the channel in this tutorial we're going to teach you how to split the background color into two just like this before we start i do want to mention that i'm using the radical theme just in case you guys like it go ahead and check it out it's absolutely free and here we don't really need to add anything to make this trick work but let's go ahead and just output a message so you can see that you can add things on top of this split background just like you would with any other background so let's use an h1 and we're going to say your content goes here and of course this is where your actual code is going to go like your buttons or whatever it is that you're adding on top of this background and here we're going to remove the default padding and margin let's give the body a height of 100 vh so this effect takes place in the entire screen the actual trick happens in background linear gradient we're going to use to right and this is where you're going to include the two colors that you want to use so i'm going to start it off with pink at zero percent and this color is going to stop at 50 percent and right when that one stops i'm going to start the other one so for the other one i'm going to use pell turquoise and this one is going to start at 50 and it's going to end at 100 percent and there's the trick now let's place this in the center of the screen just so you can see that you can place things wherever you want in the screen it doesn't matter that we have a split screen so let's use display flex justify content center and align item center now some of you might be wondering what if you don't want to use this on the entire body but on a particular section of your website so that's quite simple let's go back to our html and let's create a container and we're gonna copy and paste this in here all right let's change the body to container let's delete this height and then go ahead and set the width and height that you want in here so as an example i'm going to do a width of 500 and a height of 400 and there you go so you could either add this to the entire screen or you could add it to a particular section of your website all right that's going to be it for this tutorial please make sure to hit the like button if this works for you and i'll see you guys in the next video thanks for watching